Two heads are indeed better than one, especially when these challenging co-op games come into play. That tail is dangerous! Destroy it! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 asymmetric co-op games. Got it. For this list, we're taking a look at cooperative games that are classified as asymmetric, meaning that while two or more players are playing at the same time, they have incredibly different tasks and abilities. Boom, happy. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no, it's too much, it's too tender, it's too tender. These include assisting in navigation, adding more firepower in combat, or solving complex puzzles for the benefit of the team. Class-based shooters do not count, so sorry Overwatch and uh, not so sorry Evolve. One sedated monster coming up. Number 10, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Now, we know what you're thinking. Wind Waker never had a co-op function. While that is true for the Wii U port, Wind Waker had an accessible co-op function if you possessed a Game Boy Advance and a link cable for the GameCube. Titled The Tingle Tuner, a second player could control Tingle and, through the Game Boy Advance, get an idea of Link's surroundings, find valuable items, or hidden paths. As a bonus, the two players are given a side objective in finding the golden Tingle statues. Your payoff will be big enough to make you yell, ugh. Kululimpa. I hate saying that. Yay! Number nine, Star Fox Zero. Let's take out those bioweapons. All units, stay low. While the game overall has some of the weirdest controls for a single player campaign in Nintendo's history, Star Fox Zero does have an enjoyable experience in the form of cooperative play. Right. That's half of the man. As co-pilots in the iconic R-Wing, two players can split the tasks of a single-player experience, with one player shooting every enemy in sight while the other puts their piloting skills to the test. This fixes the majority of the issues of playing through the game via single-player, providing a better control scheme and a more entertaining experience in taking down Andros with a friend or younger sibling. Oh, and uh, do a barrel roll. We legally have to say that every time. Number eight, cook, serve, delicious. Ever wanted to run a restaurant with a close friend? Well, maybe not, but now you can as a chef and waiter. Is it still filling? It's not rocket science. Left button to serve. Unhappy, what am I doing wrong? Both equally hectic and multi-managing, one player takes orders and maintains sanitation, while the other cooks a variety of different foods, each with specific button patterns. As your business grows, so will the number of customers and upgrades for recipes. This often means additional buttons and keys will need to be pressed for a satisfied customer and possibly tip money. Better get your fast fingers ready. Cook, serve, delicious will challenge your management skills. Go. Okay, butter. Just butter. Just a God. potato and butter, you dumb Ooh. late night. <laughs> Number seven, affordable space adventures. The Wii U has certainly been a rocky console, but some developers have put its awkward gamepad to some good use in game design. The Wii U gamepad functions as a heads-down display, giving the engineer full control of engines, tools, and system settings. Affordable Space Adventures is one of those treasures that lets you and up to two friends voyage into the depths of space, where else, encountering strange extraterrestrials that don't seem to take a liking to your presence. If you want to survive, you'll have to work together as pilot and engineer. One player steers the ship, while the other uses the gamepad to maintain the engines, thrusters, and scanners. These will play a factor in not just exploration, but in awakening hostile beasts. So sit back, relax, and try not to crash. Number six, clandestine. Here, you and a buddy take on the roles of Russian spy Katya Kozlova and expert hacker Martin Simborski in order to track down a killer and bring him to justice. Why couldn't you have just run when you had the chance? Playing as Katya will depend on the player's ability in shooting and sneaking around facilities to avoid being spotted. Martin, on the other hand, can use enemy security cameras to observe the environment and help guide Katya to key locations, bribe guards, or just drop health and ammo supplies. We must assume our adversary has eyes and ears everywhere. What makes Clandestine such a unique experience isn't just the James Bond-like atmosphere, but the engaging and suspenseful gameplay that successfully replicates the tense moments between agent and hacker that we've seen in our favorite spy films. Good. Our men won't be alive for the raid tomorrow. Maybe if we call the cops on these guys. They are the cops. 
gotta get him out of there. Number five, Mario Kart, Double Dash. After the success of Mario Kart 64 and the release of the GameCube, we were all curious to see the Mario Kart series make the jump into a new generation. <laughs> Nintendo could have easily recycled the formula, but they went the extra mile and introduced something new to the series at the time, cooperative racing. In Double Dash, one player can take the duties of driving while the other can fire shells, place bananas, or sideswipe other racers. With this feature, it can be crucial in communicating with your partner if you want to go for the gold. And what made the partner system even more interesting was matching different characters with each other. Number 4. Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator Help! Set a course! Bearing 260! Maximum war! 260! Maximum war! Keep it long range! Ever wanted to control your own Starship Enterprise? Don't want to wait for the upcoming Star Trek VR game? Well, lucky for you, Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator has you covered. Give me a status on the screen, please. Uh, holy sh! that's bad. You can gather up to six of your friends to maneuver your own spacecraft in order to take on other teams in galactic warfare. Each player looks at entirely different screens, making communication incredibly important in achieving victory. Uh, this is going to be problematic. Any request docking. I have requested docking and a full arsenal of weapons. Uh -oh. Yes! For example, you may only see enemies and allies on radar, but another of your friends could only focus on firing and reloading the weapons. It's a voyage that Captain Kirk would be jealous of. Okay! <laughs> Number 3. Rayman Legends The Wii U port of this game offers a more unique cooperative adventure than it does on the other platforms. Rayman Legends allows players to use the GamePad Pro to control Murphy, a green bottle fly who proves to be one of the trickiest and most useful game characters. <laughs> Murphy can assist Rayman and friends in navigating through courses by cutting rope to allow swinging or dropping hazardous obstacles, moving or rotating platforms to avoid spikes, or activating switches to secret areas. While he is available to use in the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game, Murphy proves the Wii U's significance in multiplayer by having the extra fifth player support. What can we say? The more the merrier. Number 2. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 At a glance, the Sonic series doesn't seem like the type of game to be appropriate for cooperative gameplay. Not unless Sonic 3 has anything to say about it. In this game, a second player could take control of Tails in order to help Sonic reach higher ground. This could lead to barely escaping death or locating secret areas. What's better is that Tails can never die or make Sonic lose rings. It's almost enough to make us feel bad for calling the little guy useless, unless you, of course, let Sonic drown. Better get comfortable because you and your friend are gonna have a long night if you want to find the 7 Chaos Emeralds. The worst part though, you can't really rely on Tails all the time. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, keep talking and nobody explodes. Ah! Great. Are you dead? Yeah, I died. He died. No cooperative game has proven to me more unique than this one. It's, it's there's a C with a dot in it. Uh, is it backwards C? No, it's forward C. Using the supported virtual reality headset, one player is given a bomb with a large number of symbols and puzzles scattered around said bomb. Any additional players must make use of the printable manual and communicate with the defusal player about what they see. Oh, there's an O. Hit that. <laughs> This can prove very challenging from the confusing symbols and number patterns. If that wasn't stressful enough, it basically all rests in one player's hands to effectively describe what they see in order to win. Do you cut the red wire or the blue wire? Haha, <laughs> as if it was that simple. No, wait. UHHH. Uh, uh, UHH? -H. -H? That's not on the list? Yes, it is. Oh, it's up there. Uh, Hit ready. It exploded. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite asymmetrical game experience?
for more videos you can enjoy with a friend, but not necessarily in the same way. Be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.